Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your monthly astrology. We are in heartbreaking, shocking, terrible times at the moment. But I do believe with Jupiter and Pisces, if we stand together in love and we all hold the vision that there is hope for us. Of course, the shadow side of Jupiter in Pisces is illusions and delusions and a lack of clarity. So let's hold it together. Let's stand in love. I send you strength. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey, beautiful Scorpio. Oh, this is an intense month for you. But a month where you can feel re-empowered, a month where you are filled with ideas, a month where you are sorting things out, particularly when it comes to your home and family, and you have energy and you have fire in your belly and you have strength. Let's start at the beginning. And it's a great new moon for you. Oh, yeah, baby. This new moon is in Pisces and it's in your pleasure zone, your creativity zone, your joy for life zone. So it's a new start for you. What makes you happy? What makes your heart sing? What makes your soul sore? And is there anything in your life that's stopping you being happy? Could it could be an external thing or it could be an internal thing. It could be you're not allowing yourself in some way to be happy or you you holding back in some way. You know, sometimes we go through a fear that, oh, if we're happy, something terrible is going to happen. I know a lot of people with eighth house, eighth house and Scorpio can sometimes think that. I have thought that myself sometimes. But this is an illusion and it's time to cast that away. And this new moon gives you a portal of possibility to open the door into new pleasure, new excitement and new creativity. On top of that, on March the 3rd, whoa, there's some intense energy out there. It could play out in a dramatic way in the external world. But for you, you have to really pay attention to what's going on internally. As Mars, your previous ruler, an old friend, joins forces with Pluto, your ruler, in your position of communication news. There may be some surprising news around that day. Maybe you have a really strong idea or you say something really adamant or you lay down an ultimatum. But thankfully, Venus is also joining forces with Pluto. So there is this sort of river of love that, that can flow through the day. Don't let anything dramatic lead you away from your heart. Also, if you're going to say something dramatic, make sure that you mean it and don't say it out of temper. Now, I mean, you know, conjunctions don't have to be a bad thing, but certainly the energy that day is super intense. So be aware and plan for it and, and think about it before you do anything and use it to your advantage if you can. On Mars the 5th, the sun is joining forces with Jupiter. You should have a really good day around March the 5th. There's happiness, laughter, hope and inspiration around that day. Then the energy shifts on March the 6th and you start thinking about your home and family. Mars and Venus are in your home and family zone. So you're passionate about your family. You also want to, maybe you want to redecorate or do something physical to transform your home in some way. Maybe you're just passionate about what home and family means to you. But there should be other people around you supporting you and showing you some love around that time. Uh, and also, yeah, Mar March the 6th is a very big time for you when it comes to home and family. But there should be some positive energy around then, around then too. Around then too. I think that's right. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me, Mercury enters Pisces on March the 10th and you are feeling, again, very optimistic and hopeful and creative and inspired around that time. That energy um, w works for you in terms of communication up until the 27th when Mercury goes into Aries and you start to focus on your health and well-being. Really enjoy the, the pleasures of this month and the optimism and the hope and the the sort of mixing with people that make you feel good, doing things that make you feel good. The full moon, in fact, is giving you an opportunity to really join forces with other people and to feel uh, either you're going to hang out with people or you'll be involved in something that isn't just about you. It's more like a group experience. And you may be called towards connecting with a group of people. I mean, in the current time, hopefully, all of our hearts are with Ukraine and are with well, the many things that are going on in the world, there's, there's a lot of things going on in the world where the world needs our love and our support and for us to take practical measures to help. 
So whatever you believe in, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, now is the time to feel connected and, and to join forces and, and it uplifts your energy to do something practical with people that you relate to. Now, Mercury is joining forces with Jupiter on the 21st. Again, a great day to put yourself out there, to put your beliefs out there, to put your creativity out there. You're feeling excited about a project or an experience or an idea. And uh, when Mercury goes into Aries and the sun goes into Aries, from the 20th, you're focusing on your health and well-being. And that's your the next phase is about looking after yourself and doing the work. So enjoy March. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course my website, michellenight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.